and today I'm getting my sternum and stomach kind of area tattooed. I'm super nervous about it and I have to get ready now so that I can go down to my tattoo parlor. As you can see, it is a beautiful snowy day outside. My patio is already covered in snow, which is super awesome. And yeah, basically I just gotta put my makeup on and uh, mentally prepare myself to get ready for a pretty big tattoo. I'm getting my stomach done just this baggy kind of tank top so that it's not too tight once I get all wrapped up when I'm done. Big comfy sweater because I'm going to be lying down for a while and some skinny jeans with some little cool zippers on them. And this is what my cat is wearing today, although she will not be going almost ready to go. Um, there is some snow on the ground, so I think I'm gonna be wearing these demonias out. Uh, they're pretty good for the snowy weather, that's why I bought them. So yeah, I am going to leave now, probably stop at Starbucks to get a shot of coffee, shot of caffeine, and a little bit of sugar before I go in, and the next time I see you, I will most likely be at my tattoo parlor. healed. Um, if it looks a little shiny, it's probably just because I've still been putting this ointment on it, and I've never actually tried it before, but it's called Skin Fix. Um, let me see. So yeah, it's called Skin Fix Inked Tattoo Balm. It's apparently vegan. I was looking all around Shoppers Drug Mart for something that said cruelty-free, vegan, etc. on the back of it. Couldn't find anything. And then I finally went down one of the aisles that has uh, more medicinal kind of things in it as opposed to skincare products and I found this so it was about $19.99 $20 Canadian it's called skin fix and yeah it seemed to work really well um, no problems with any large portions flaking off uh, didn't really have any trouble healing it, but I never have trouble healing any of my tattoos. Um, I know that I didn't end up 
filming anything when I was actually at my tattoo parlor getting the tattoo done, I'll be honest with you. When I got my knuckles done, I thought it was the most painful thing that I had ever had done tattoo-wise. When I started getting my sternum tattooed, up until the point where he started going over my ribs with the needle, I thought it was gonna be a walk in the park. It was terrible. It was so painful. Um, I still sat through it really well. As you can see, the I mean, like, there's no really janky lines or anything like that. So I was extremely still the whole time. I think it probably only took two and a half hours. Um, but honestly, it was just so goddamn painful. Um, I never, I should have not underestimated how painful it was actually gonna be. But still totally worth it. Um, I'm in love with it. It's my new favorite thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, you know, really looking forward to the warmer months now where I can actually wear things that show it off because it's still Canada. It's still like minus 10 right now, it's January. So anyways, I'm sorry that I didn't actually get to film anything while I was getting it done, but it just would have been impossible for me to try to hold the camera or, you know, do anything like that. I was full on like getting the sweats, felt like I was gonna pass out, bad times. Um, but yeah, totally worth it. In the end, of course, like every other tattoo that I have, if you want to check out my tattoo artist, his name is Kevin Davidson. He is on Instagram, Kevin underscore Davidson. I don't know how well you can see that. My camera probably won't focus properly. But he does a lot of black and gray stuff. So yeah, really love his style, obviously. Um, ever since I started going to him, I decided that I probably wasn't gonna get a whole lot of color pieces done anymore, and I really gravitated towards black and gray. So yeah, big shout out to Kevin, um, super awesome tattoo artist, love going to him, love going to my tattoo parlor, which is Passage Tattoo. You can look that up online, and that is in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little sternum tattoo journey um you know it's the first time i've actually tried to like vlog anything so it kind of sucked um in the future hopefully my vlogs will get better um probably with the aid of like a selfie stick or something that would really help um and i don't have any professional lighting at the moment so hopefully you liked this uh give it a thumbs up if you did totally feel free to thumbs down it if you didn't um, just trying to do something new in 2017, which is making more YouTube videos. Anyways, see you all later.